I'm up here at our cabin, which is, you know, like a house. I don't have a pressure gauge in my truck. We'll just have to kick them. Yeah. Um, and we every winter we have to pull the knocks. Sometime, sometime around mid-October, we usually do it uh, because there's lots of ice. And I'll put some pictures of ice right here now. This is where we have also that spring, the water spring for our cabin here. And up there is the culvert that we, that we replaced that you just saw. And we'll go through the process of doing this. Um, so there are some things that we already did on the dock. I guess first to start off, this is a deep water portion of a river that's dammed up. Like there's a hydroelectric dam and you can sort of see the waters flowing there so we put our docks in our dock most of the docks here are eight foot by 16 foot with uh, a two-piece ramp and an a-frame that holds the first stage of the ramp up out of the water instead of using floats I took out screws for the first ramp to the a-frame and I coiled up the first set of cables to hold the dock and I'll show you the second set of cables later first thing we have to do every year is well get the trailer but also first make sure that the trailer tires have air in them this is a dedicated trailer for our dock that we bought uh, previously we would have to use somebody else's trailer and because these trailers can raise and lower with a, a cable and a winch system, we would set the dock down onto concrete blocks and logs and whatnot. But now we have our own dedicated trailer for this. And all summer it sits up here. And all winter it sits up here with the dock on it. And there's other trailers up here like that one. There's another dock up there. And another trailer there. And that's actually our really old dock. We just haven't torn it apart or anything. We stopped using that maybe 15, 18 years ago. <laughs> After we built a newer one. I think we'd be all right if we just go pull it out here and then spin it. Okay, we'll try that. If we have to move it, we will. Just to avoid confusion, my dad just called me Ty, or Tyler, you'll sometimes hear in these videos. That's because while growing up, well, now too, he and I have the same first name of Joseph, or Joe. And to avoid confusion while growing up, I went by Tyler. Put that cable thing of mine or chain thing on there and lift up that and and I'll pull the rope and we'll pull the horse out of the way. Hey, dog. Come on! Back! Get out! Quill! Quill! Get! Camera! Out! Get! 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 They're idiots. Want the other rope too? Uh, no. Hello, Carol. No, you're all right, though. Yeah, keep the four square. We need a little pull on this. There we go. Can you get the anchor out a little more? Or? I think we can 
Yeah, it's under the dock. You see what the man in the gray sweatshirt's doing? Never do that. That's just asking for trouble. Never stand over or behind any winching rope of any sort. Always stand off to the side and make sure that you can't get anything hit by a cable if it were to snap and the handle won't whap you in the shin or the stomach or the arm if it does decide to uh, backspin. At this point, he's cranking up the trailer. We had it in the down position to make it easier to load the dock, but we needed it in the up position to not hit the ground while going up hills or around corners. Now we'll get it off. Okay, Todd. It shouldn't slide. Here I'm going as slow as possible as to not spin my tires at all because this grass is difficult to get growing back. And also, you don't want to slide in at all, so that's a good idea.
I didn't record it, but we had tied down everything to the dock and to the trailer so it won't slide off while going up the very steep hill. And also right here, we disconnected the trailer and retracted the tongue because the tongue is extendable by about six feet. Uh, and that's so that we don't have to back in quite as far to get the trailer into the water. And then going around the corners, we retract it so the trailer doesn't stick out quite as far either.
So that's the last stock out. Um, that we're doing today that was four in a day and I've only ever been here for like one maybe two in a day so there's one there one there one there and the for one down and that's somebody else's dock uh, that we're not I think they do something different what do you think Quill is that fun and other people take their docks out differently in this case, they have four uh, legs that they slot in with a keeper bolt with wheels, and they winch it up with a truck winch. And then, in case the water ever does come this high, it's tied around a tree, too. You know, hmm. Yeah, it's come about to where my feet are before, which is about even with the base of that tree right there. And that's when there's a lot of water in the winter after a thaw and it's kind of cold still and there's ice and an ice dam forms down there and raises all of the water. <laughs> 